Hello friends, this video on hydrogen part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. There is a huge need to remove the hardness. But before we remove the hardness, we should know the kind of hardness we have. There are two kinds of hardness, temporary hardness and permanent hardness. So we will discuss both of these hardness. So in temporary hardness, we have the presence of calcium and magnesium hydrogen carbonate. So we have either calcium hydrogen carbonate or magnesium. So these are the two culprits. These are the two culprits which makes water temporarily hard. It is temporary hard. Why is temporary? We will just discuss. So to remove this temporary hardness, you can do two things. Just boil it or you can use the Clark method. So when you boil the water, what happens is the temporary hardness is gone. Just boiling the water the temporary hardness is gone. So what happens when you boil it? So when you boil it, what happens? Let's suppose we have CaCO3. This is my hardness. Just you boil this, this becomes CaCO3 calcium carbonate plus water plus water. And this is insoluble. It precipitates. So thus, this goes off just by boiling. The other way is the Clark way. If you don't want to spend uh, time or heat, what you can do is you have this temporary hardness, CaCO32. You mix this with calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide. This is used to remove temporary hardness in Clark's way. So you mix with calcium hydroxide. What happens is you get 2CaCO3, it precipitates out and free water is left. This is free water. Instead of, let's suppose, calcium hydro, uh, bicarbonate, you have magnesium, bicarbonate is hardness. This is hardness. Right? This is also hardness. So, in that case, also you will mix calcium hydroxide only. What you get is you get mag magnesium carbonate. You get calcium carbonate and you get 2H2. So in both cases, these gets precipitates. Right? This comes out and thus the water is free from the hardness. Now if you see, please note we have to add proper quantity of calcium hydroxide only. If you add more quantity of calcium hydroxide, what will happen is this hardness is gone, but we'll have this hardness because this is also calcium ion now. Correct. So we'll have to add proper quantity only. And how to get the proper quantity? You, we must have, we have learned this term for titration. So with titration, we generally define, uh, we get the quantity of calcium hydroxide that has to be added to the, the temporary soft water, temporary hard water to make it soft. If you add a lot of calcium hydroxide, it will make again the water hard. Correct. So we have to be careful here. So we have to find this method using titration. We will not discuss this. We have learn this titration in the last chapter where we see that uh, we have some indicators and with that we find how much uh, of this is required to uh, form this reaction so if you have doubts what the previous video previous chapter actually. now there's a permanent hardness as i told the permanent hardness is because of the magnesium and calcium salt of chlorides and sulfates so it is uh, cacl2 or mgcl2 chlorides or sulfate, CaSO4 or MgSO4. These four are generally the cause of permanent hardness in the water. Okay. So now we have to remove this. So we can't remove this by boiling. So if we just boil it, nothing will happen. It won't remove the permanent hardness. So what should we do? So we have various methods to remove permanent hardness. The first is the chemical method. In the chemical method, we treat with washing soda or we use Calcogen's method. In ion exchange method, we use either inorganic cation exchanger or we use organic ion exchanger also called synthetic resins. So we'll discuss all these methods now. We'll discuss the chemical methods and we'll discuss the ion exchange method. So let's start with the first method of chemical method where we remove the hardness by adding Washing soda. Washing soda is what? Nothing but Na2CO2. 
So I have my permanent hardness in the form of M uh, MgCl2, right? CaCl2, or I have uh, uh, MgSO4 or CaSO4. So the whole thing, or I can write as Mg2 plus or C2 plus, or I can generalize and I can write as M2 plus, right? Where M is nothing but it can be magnesium or calcium. So I have, let's suppose. M C L two. This is my hardness. If I add Na two CO three, that is washing through to it, it becomes M C O three that is precipitated plus two Na C L. So thus we see just by adding washing soda, this is gone. This M can be M G or C. So if you want, I can just write M G here. I can write this for C O C L two also. CaCO3 plus 2 Correct. The next process I have is the Colgon's method. So, what is Colgon? Colgon is something but a compound whose structure is Na2, Na4, U3, 6. This is a compound with a structure of this is called sodium polymetaphosphate. Sodium polymetaphosphate. What it does is this guy traps the calcium ions. This guy will trap the calcium ions. For example, I have calcium ions, the two calcium ions. So this guy will trap it and it will become Na2, Ca2, U3, 6, plus Na plus, plus 4. And this guy is soluble as this guy is soluble as it's soluble. It won't harm actually, it won't harm now because this guy is trapped. So this is the culprit actually, it is like this is a culprit you are putting in the cage. This was a culprit, this guy, and you have put this in the cage. This is the cage. And this guy is a culprit. Right? So you have put this guy in the cage. This is the cage. This guy is trapped. This guy is trapped, it won't harm. It, will, it is soluble only in water, but it won't precipitate. But since this, this guy is in cage now, it won't harm. Easy only. Same thing for magnesium again too. I have 2 Mg2 plus. Same thing I'll add. That is sodium polymetaphosphate Na2, Na4, Na3, 6 gives Na2, Mg2. PO3, 6, and we get 4 in this. So let me write the name here sodium poly meta phosphate. Correct? This is the name of this. This is like a cage where these culprits, these culprits, the culprit which caused the water to be hard, are trapped. Correct? And please note it doesn't precipitate, it is soluble in water. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.